And one more. There we go. Hopefully that is enough. No keyboard controls, that's interesting. In terms of the menus, but sure. Why not? I'll give a minute or two for people to get in. May not be a popular stream, but this is what kind of games I cover, so. That night is dungeon. I mean, <laughs> you never know. You gotta always watch out for those those little things on the ground. They could end up screwing you over. Okay, what are the extras? Oh, there's a world map and credits. Okay, sure. Ugh, I will get started in a second here. Stay out. Apathias. Okay. So, hey everybody out there. My name is Drynix. Um, this is Tenebros Dungeon. Hopefully the volume is okay. But um, this is a FP FPS. It says RPG, but I want to see that RPG element because it's user tagged. And, well, user tags can always be off. But it's in an old style Wolfenstein. So, uh, for balanced experience, for season words, yeah, really, the easy is the one. Yeah, no. We'll go night. <laughs> okay, so simple controls, rotation with the mouse. That may get me sick in a little bit. Okay, so it looks like it has Wolfenstein and... Okay, so the RPG is maybe a... Like a save system. Something about that movement left and right is not dealing well with me. Okay, so we have a mini-map. So this may be a longer form R RPG. So that will be interesting to see how that plays. Weapons are found through Tenebrous Keep and will keep you alive during combat situations. Yeah, normally normally that's the case. Okay, so... Whoa. Salvage points or salvage experience or decrease by score? Why would I ever want to increase my score? I mean, unless if those, that, that those points do something at the end of level, which it doesn't tell you anything, so... Ooh, a switch. Hey, Super no your Super Noah's Ark is very underrated in my opinion. Secret areas can be found through Tenebrous Keep, oftentimes disguised as part of the walls. Okay, so they're telling you their secrets. Oh, so I have to reload. Uh, with the crossbow, I have to reload one shot at a time with the actual fire button. Okay, so you told me a secret is around here. Right? There we go. Alright, so... You know, it's a little bit weird for your tutorial not to get into combat... ...already. Um... Okay, so RPG like food. Interesting. Ha! 
The devil's movement is a little bit strange. Um. Uh, we're getting into it. Uh, gr yeah, the graphical style, I mean, it's old school, but man, that... I cannot move under the under the use of stimulants. Okay, great, except there's no way for me to get rid of it. So, how am I supposed to... I'm just supposed to wait for this? Okay, sure. Um, we just got into it, F FAQ, so I don't want to say anything... yet. Game saved. Stab the barrel. Stab the barrel. So, I have ammo, but it doesn't look like I have a good ways to replenish that ammo right now. I also can't move up and down, so it's basically... Where is where is my health? It's okay. So it's in red on top of blue. So there's a, a that is a very bad idea to put red on top of blue like that. It makes finding health very very hard. And the way that the the demons are moving and the way you move, like you're overly sensitive. So I'm gonna try to adjust my sensitivity here. They don't really have the ability to change that, so that's nice. Okay. Okay, some quests. I, get to, I found myself a blah, 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 blah. Oh, there are enemies in the barrels. Okay, cool. See, uh, you see, this is this is confusing. So, like, okay, what is that item? I don't know what that item is. If if I can't pick it up, then I'm just gonna be confused on exactly what it is. Why is why are some of those demons transparent? Why are some of them not? That's okay. So immediately the game has confused me with its rules. It also doesn't help that I'm not even finding ammo, which is why I destroyed all those things in the first place. Okay, secret. Nope, that's not, it's not even a secret. Okay, fine. Oh, a battle axe. Okay, so we have a melee. So it is an RPG like me uh, with melee system. Okay, fine. Okay, so that's. I wonder if it's procedurally generated though. I don't. It didn't say anything about that in the portion. Hmm. Yeah, you're right with the barrel portion. Like, it's like you're already setting up uh, people to not trust barrels. To say, oh, hey, you know, if there's going to be so many enemies in a barrel at this point, then I might as well just not do it. Okay, we'll salvage the experience. But I'm going to keep on looking for it. The melee is clunky with the range. Now, I don't know. Let's see here. Do I have an inventory? I don't have an inventory-like system from what I see here. I just have what's in the, in the top. It doesn't really tell me if there's a range, if there's a difference with the range or not. He just came he just came out of nowhere. 
Okay, you have failed your king. Okay, cool. Whatever. <laughs> so, early on, it feels like the game is very, very, very rough around the edges. Like, I feel like I'm not, like, entirely in control. The game is, like, you have to understand, that, like, the mouse sensitivity on this is really, really high. Like, I'm... Even at my lowest sensitivity on my mouse, I mean, I could go out, out of game, but, like, I am pretty sensitive here. And so, that's not a good sign to begin with. See, like, there. I'm not sure how that one attack didn't hit. I also don't like the fact that there's no sound. So I didn't even hear that enemy come um, up on me. So that's a little bit strange, too. Again, another enemy that just came up on, t on top of me without even really... Let's see here. Where are you seeing the rotation settings? Haven't heard anything on Iron Maiden. Uh, I don't see a rotation. Master found. Brightness. Get out of here. Alright, let's then... For a balanced experience. Okay, fine. No multiple save slots. That's not a good thing. Okay, so there's... A, this menu has... Okay, that's a little bit better. So there are options menus that are inconsistent. That's not good. That that That's telling me that, you know, you weren't paying attention to everything. All right, we're just going to... So, the fact that... And that's going to confuse people. That's going to be like, oh, wait a minute. Where did I see that option menu? Oh, it's in one but not the other. So, inconsistency there. That's not... Hmm. So, no sound from the enemies. So, that... Besides the actual... Um... Like, their screams. Oh, why did I pick up that item? I can't... Yeah, I can't proceed under the influence of stimulants, but... but Okay, so how do I get rid of stimulants for the time being? And, the, and you're right on the cross here, Bob. I've been noticing it, too. It's... Like, it's consistent with the crossbow and I guess the fact is is that they want it to be inconsistent with that case but it's it is really like 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 Jay just said now that you've shown me like show me that I'm having trouble not focusing it on it so there's a bonus in the corner it looks like if I hit the part time, I'll get that bonus. It, I'm a guessing. I feel like I was just stabbing through him and like nothing was happening. Why are some transparent? Is 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 it because it's? Okay, three enemies in a row. So it must be a random chance, but the random chance must be high. Um, sure, I guess I'm salvaging experience because I don't know what it actually said. I mean, it is... 
a, like a sight, but but it's really not. Like I mean, it's acting as a crosshair, therefore, it, it's just looking weird. Okay, it was a crossbow that I, was, I savaged. Okay, I'm just finding crossbows all over the place, apparently. The door actually moved me into the wall for a second there, which is... Not gonna lie, it's a little bit annoying. Um, secrets? You showed me a green wall before, but now there's green walls all over the place, so what is the consistency on the skills? So now, now, here's my real question. So, I've been looking through this. I've been looking for them. I'm trying to find, where is ammo? Like, I haven't seemingly lost ammo from the start. Like, okay, there we go. So what is replenishing ammo? Okay. Levers are unlocked. That's that's wonderful. That's great, I suppose. I just realized left is slightly longer than the right. I think I see what you're talking about. That's hard to un that's another thing that's gonna be hard to see. Okay, so press pause the skill. Well, right now I'm in the middle of something, so you're gonna have to wait. Skills. Oh, okay, so it's whoop de doo. I feel like So I'm looking at this, and I'm feeling like plus two max health. is like absolutely crap compared to plus one on one of these damages. I mean, look at the difference here. Okay, sure. We'll go with that. Again, it isn't helping that it's very, very confusing about... Oh, great. You know what would be nice? If I knew what these items did before I picked them up. Because... I would never have picked up something that would make me slow. God. <laughs> and and how does a pixie leap? Like pixie is usually like small, speedy. Why would that make me slow and give me health? That's hmm. Some odd choices early on in this game. I forgot this gem. It gets me points, which I don't even know if they actually make a difference. The spring work isn't bad either, but it's just weird. Okay, so ammo. Oh, it's a short bow. Okay, cool. Minus five damage, but faster. Okay, cool. I'll go with a short bow. Oh, okay, so cert that would have been nice to know before picking it up, because then I would have of used it. So, apparently, there are certain weapons that have certain restrictions. Okay, so this was the blue room. This is the blue gate, but I don't see anything... It makes it worth doing anything with. Uh, where's my map? So early on, impressions are very, very rough around the edges. I, I feel like I don't know what the game is trying to go for. See, now, now, now here becomes a question. It's like, okay, I could pick up on the knife again, but then I don't have my crossbow. So, do I just stick with this? Oh, good. Speed. That's exactly what I didn't want. But okay. 
it feels like somebody like mashed these two genres together and didn't really understand what that meant in terms of design. Okay. Oh, hi. I like how it made it sound as I got hit. Okay, so what is the range on this? So, okay, so the range looks... I guess I die. That that's a very good question. Maybe it may, well I still have my knife technically, so maybe maybe I just am able to drop the weapon entirely. We'll find out. We'll try we'll test that. That's something I would do if I was reviewing this for, you know, a real person. Uh do I you know what? I'm gonna keep this just for the sake of testing that. I also don't like how the difficulties were, like, really, really different. Like, but then again, I, gu I guess I have a little bit better uh, sensitivity here, which is making it a lot easier. Level design is w rather basic, too. It, it, I mean, I'm not seeing anything really special about this so far. This feels... It feels like a Wolfenstein game, but, like, a little bit different? I don't know, even know why. You see, like, why am I scoring? Why am I looking for points? What? I mean, there's no reason. I also don't see where the secrets could be here. I feel like I'm just, like, randomly poking walls... Okay, I'm going up. This game is poop. Yes, it is. But I'm going to give it a little bit more time before completely writing it off. Mm -mm. Sometimes you, you see a game and you're like, okay, that could, that could be right. And it just doesn't work out. Part of me wonders if that's an asset. It, it, it feels like it's in a different style. Okay, so I'm out of ammo. Okay, so now I can stab with my knife. Okay, cool. I'm gonna stab you. How am I supposed to remember all these colors when they're all just different? Like, they're all different colors. So that's, that's, again, bad design. Like, okay, there we go. Crossbow, good. <laughs> the music loop is going to drive you insane. Uh, you know what? Let's, you see now here, I can't change the music level, but in the other menu, I could. So why, why is it so different? Why do you decide to have some options there, but not on others? Did you not keep it consistent? Did you not realize what you were doing? God damn it. There's just, there's some, like, the thing is, is that there's some, like, competent elements to it, but it's just got, like, no creativity to it, and there's not a lot of thought in the design. Like, technically, it works. It, it, there are questions I have about the design portion, but the technical parts are okay. But it's just that, what... Is this a? It's not an asset flip either. There's, there's obvi It's an obviously different experience. Well, maybe it's an asset flip. I don't know. Ha, ha, 
I mean, what will either save or, or help this game would be... Um, like, you know, special weapons or enemies. But right now, they're just sort of, you know, walking at me like, oh... And when I hear, you see, like, it, it, it's it's a person who doesn't have English as their first language. Because, like, again, when I see, think of skills. Like, okay, I can't even look at my like, skills right now. Um, I think of, you know, not stats, which is what this seems to be. I think of, like, abilities. But... It's almost like the person knew that skills are in games and used that as the word, but didn't realize that, you know, hey, wait a minute. And, and there's like little, like, if you notice that guy's face, there's little touches that do work. Like, not in this guy. This guy just sort of belts into the ground. But let's find a gremlin. Or a goblin, I'm sorry. I, why did I say gremlin? Like, you could notice his eyebrows change a little bit, um, like, as he dies. Like, he, like, oh, I, I, you've killed me. I'm sad. That's a le level of, you know, detail that, you know, m not many asset flip games will have. She appears to be an old blind mystic from the Fire Isles of Iris. Luckily, I could speak Irene Irenese. She was warm, blah, blah, blah. Mort Wiggins of... Okay, I... I okay, whatever. Hmm, secret... I don't know what score does. Uh, I, the game wants you to, like, probably learn from experience, but... Eh. Uh, no. Like, I don't know. It seems like it's a weird combination of things to, to do. There we go. There's there's the lever I need. So, level lovers, blue, red, green, like old, you know, um, Doom cards. Was it Doom or Duke Nukem? See, this new one, like, I'm able to tank everything. So, like, I, I really do have questions about the difficulty level. Because, like, it said that th this would be the average experience. But, like, the difference between that one and the, and the last one, like, hit-wise, I was taking, like, 15 per hit. Um, and I was getting hit multiple times. Here, it's like, I'm getting touched. So, the, I do wonder, you know, if this... See, the thing is, is you gotta realize is that you're like, okay, well, you know, maybe they just didn't understand the difficulty curve. But the thing is, is that you're going on a retro-style game, obviously. You're, you're, you're obviously trying to bring back things like Wolfenstein 3D with this, you know, art style. Um, so, you should know that the difficulty curve needs to be a little bit... Uh, on the harder side, even on the easy portion. But, like, this one, I'm just, like, walking up to enemies and just, you know, stabbing them in the face. Okay, so that's the door to get out. Oh, I could, I could spend my skills. Woo, one... Uh, okay, sure. More range. That's a good question. I don't know. I've, I haven't even bothered to try secrets. Okay, so I actually... Yeah, I take 10 damage walking through that. Okay, cool. So, it's a score system, but why should I care about the score? Is there, you know, is there a bonus if I hit the, a certain score? Is it, you know, what exactly is the deal here? A lot of... Bad use of informational tools. 
I only see myself playing this for like 45 minutes an hour here because it's definitely got some problems. Oh, so you're just going to throw more enemies at me. Okay, sure. So you're just going to throw a bunch of enemies at me and then just leave. Okay, cool. Whatever. And... Let's put that up. Oh, sapphire cap. I do have to say that the controls are just... Hmm, there's just... I mean, obviously the the sensitivity helped, but there's still something about his movement that's like giving me problems, even at the lower sensitivity. I I can't really describe what it is. I think it may be just the way that the 3D versus the 2D effects are on there, because it's like really messing with my. I don't want to say depth perception, but I actually want to say depth perception. <laughs> Okay, so there were enemies inside of enemies. That's cool. Yeah, I agree with that. With the, I mean, if I'm just only stuck with this, maybe I could find another weapon. You know, this is where you need some variety in the weapons early on. What the hell was that sound? I'm not even seeing anything that looks like what would be a, a secret. Like, I'm not seeing anything on the... Okay, there's a torch there. I like how... I don't like how the sound is the exact same as... Wait, 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 where did you come from? Hold on, hold on. Oh, you might have come from over... No, that's where I came from. Where did he come from? Did he come from, like, over here? I also don't like the fact that we've only seen two enemy types. It's, it's time to, you know introduce another one right now because this is getting very very repetitive very fast design isn't that great um mm. and i want people to realize that like even before like i did streaming a little bit more um you know there would be games like this and you know some of them you would just you wouldn't necessarily make a review out of even if it was like a five minute review even if it's like oh hey this is a bad game you would do like a Steam review or something of it, but it's like almost not. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. I just. Okay. I mean, obviously. Wait, hold on a second. Go away. So, so, so. They're specific? Okay. Sure. Are you going to tell me to go away? Are you going to tell me to go away? I feel like that's a secret, but it's not. Go away. Also, I swore that that secrets was 0 of 3. Did I met I'm going to have to look at the footage. I swore that was 0 of 3 before. Did I miss something? Did it was it 0 of 4 and I just didn't notice? I write this letter to the unfortunate soul who may find it. If you kill the sadistic bastard, Captain Schnever, make sure you put, to put his head on a spike. He killed my wife and the other prisoners. If I had to try to kill him, blah, 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 blah. Sid Tonus. Okay, well, sure. It looks like the prisoner took matters into his own hands. Oh. But how do you, do you... You can't strangle yourself. I mean, unless if you, like, brought a noose. 
Uh, is it hit scan? Um, you know, that's a good question. I, I feel like it's just, just straight up, like you know, projectile. But I don't see. I don't see a portion. I don't see a, a projectile. So I guess it is hit scan. Um, I need an actual other thing too. Also, I need to figure out where I need to go because I don't know where the exit is. I'm gonna take you. Oh good, I have my. So that's blue, I need green areas? Like, I'm also not seeing... Okay, this looks... Okay, whatever. Man, this is... It is only seven bucks, but... Or, no, I think it's eight, but... This music is so not... This doesn't have the right feel. Oh, we have a different color demon. Wow. That's impressive. No, it's not. Come on. Come on. I can do it. I believe in myself. <laughs> Appears the prison cells be cleared out. Saw a demon carrying other... Oh, blah, blah. What of the creature was a glowing necklace? Okay, don't care. I really don't care. If this is how you're going to give me the, the exposition. Because it's really hard to somewhat read. So we finally got a third enemy type. Unfortunately, it's using the same model as the demon. So I don't care. Um. Ooh. Okay. It's slightly different. Somebody worked Stoner sucks on the wall of the cell. cell. Okay, so that's the, one of the bad guys, I think it said. Um, whoop de doo Like, even these rooms. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> the area is somewhat different, but the enemy placement within these rooms don't doesn't seem to be. Like, that goblin in that one location as you enter the room is, like, right in front of you so that he walks towards you like that. It doesn't feel that much different. I... I, uh, I feel that I'm going to be playing more Monster Hunter World tonight. And the story one is coming along. I decided myself, okay, give yourself two nights off. I had some of the story one already done, so um, I do need to play one more game for it. I, but it's mostly there. Um, you guys got anything for me? It's the last. Okay, so he sh shat himself or something. I would consider streaming Monster Hunter World, but I do want to test it out first. Um, maybe at a, a later date. Um, I know that people are, you know, it would be a good one to stream, but um, I am perf concerned about performance on that, um, streaming-wise. But... It would be a game that I would love to stream, especially with, with you, Andrea. As she does most of the work. I just hit things on the head, usually, but... She's slicing and dicing, and... I, 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 I guess I, I act as a tank, but... I'm a very poor tank. So 
So if I'm on drugs, I can't take another drug. Is that correct? It seems to be correct. Blah, blah, blah. Smells like Ash. Ash Ketchum? Are we in the Pokemon world? <laughs> it is a very addictive game, that's for sure. Actually, the funny thing is, is that for the, so it, it's the game that I identified as, okay, a me and Andrea play, don't necessarily review, but, you know, enjoy myself game, which I have, you know, it is a game that I want to cover certain portions of it design wise, but it's one of those things where it's like, you know, it's hard to disconnect my enjoyment of the game and, you know, my enjoyment of spending time with Andrea at this point, then it's hard for me to give, you know, a score for around that kind of game. But with that said, earlier today, I decided, okay, I need to grind a little bit in terms of some resources for some other weapons that I wanted to try out. And it's amazing to me how different the game plays with one without not having a group. Um, just because, like, you know, sharpening your weapon in the middle of battle is like, oh, shit, I, I don't have anybody to distract at this point. Um, I don't know where I'm going. I'll probably get back at the Smash Ultimate, like just playing it here and there when um, Joker comes out. Just because I wanna, you know, it's Joker. Okay, so for this bow, for some reason, I'm able to attack. I also only have seven health, so I probably should deal with that somehow. So why do some have health bars, but others don't? Oh, good. I need the I need the health that badly. And okay, so I'm gonna give a general thought for people here. I'm gonna say that this isn't worth your time. I, I mean, I'll, I, you know, again, I don't want to necessarily you know crap on developers. This may be his first game. He may or you know this may be the devs' first game. It may be trying something different. It may be you know it could be a variety of things. Oh, good. Uh, I could have killed myself if that was the right. Yeah, they, they probably die in one hit, but there's inconsistency issues there in my mind. I don't know where they came from. I really don't. Um, yeah, so there there's... Okay, so hold on. Oh, so I could just skip levels. Same as legit. Wait, so am I at the same skill level though? That seems like it would be a problem. That's strange. They, they, they look like barely different. Uh, oh, okay, wait. Okay, so that thing probably can't be... Oh, look. Oh, we got some magic. Can I... 
Where did you come from? Where did all you come from? I also don't like the fact that the, that enemy was inside the other enemy? That's strange. That was real, like, like, is it a ghost after projection kind of thing? Because if that was the case, then... I also don't like the fact that th the model for this is so... Like, if I'm looking down screen and trying to figure out where the enemy is, like, half my spa space is taken up by the model itself. Like, I understand that you want it somewhat near the crosshair, but, but really? That big? Total Biscuit would be like... You know, like rolling over, ro like you know, rolling over and like just sighing his head off with the with like the model here. I mean, I guess he's left-handed. What's this? The Heartbroken Lord Hazel Black. 244 AK. I don't know what AK stands for. After whatever that guy's name was. Oh, here. We got a blue thing. Uh, I, I guess I pressed it already because I don't remember pressing it, but okay, sure. I wish that on the top it showed me, oh, you open the blue gates, you open the red gates, you open the green gates. Oh, you're faster than me. Oh, good. I'm out of ammo. At least I got chicken. That's that's all that matters. I may not have ammo, but I have chicken. After king, maybe. Oh, good. Ooh, ironwood bow. Uh, I'm gonna keep the bow for a little bit and so I'm gonna get back to my thoughts on the game so obviously this feels like a first attempt at a game the thing is is that what I'll tell the developer is that functionally like tech wise you've got something you like you, you didn't do anything wrong here like things work and you know there are some issues with like hit detection in terms of like it can be hard to tell whether or not you actually hit something but like i can't find anything that 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 is a problem with that said i feel like your game design the game design idea of rpg fps it's lacking it's lacking a lot because the RPG elements are very, very minimal, but with that said, they are, they, they don't feel that effective. Also, yeah, I guess I should try skipping to the final level. That, that could be an interesting portion, especially like, so, so you have this FPS portion, but I can change levels. So does that mean, ooh, a black battle ax. I'll pick up the black battle ax. Um, it feels like you, you, you had this idea and then you maybe ran out of time or money. And so you only kept, you know, like the three skills that in here or the three weapons and you put colors on them, which doesn't seem like a good idea. Red the reformer. Okay. Yeah, I do wonder if there's a boss. Okay. You know what? We're gonna, we're, we're just going to skip to the end. Oh, hey, brick. Fancy. Ha! 
Okay, so... Definitely have a higher wet damage weapon, so I'm finally seeing the RPG effects in the game. That's good. Someone needs music lessons? Like, the funny thing is, there's plenty of free... the use music that they could throw in there. I have killed the warlock. He was a formidable foe. Oh good, there's there's just random cheese laying on the ground and random meat. Remember kids, meat and cheese that are out for four hours like that are probably rotten by that point. Also, the, the portrait of the king, I, I, I wanted to go back to that, hold on. He's so royal. Such a, such a narrow corridor. Whoa, okay, that made me sick for a second there. Oh god, that makes me even more sick. Okay, so I got a black crossbow. Oh wow, that's a lot. That, that that's a lot of damage. I destroyed the cacti. I I feel horrible. Mm. At least the crossbow it looks. At least the higher level crossbow looks like a higher level crossbow, aka it's fancier. Okay, come on. Now, 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 that seems like a secret. But no, it's not. It's just, for some reason, that part of the wall is damaged. Okay, fine. I also like the fact that there's, like, literally infinite range on this thing. A double crossbow that still only shoots one. Portion. Also, when you open the door like that, you actually get stuck for a second. Okay. See, those look, did those look explosive to anybody else? Because that was the first thing I thought of. Like, oh, I better not shoot them because they'll explode. But then it's like, well, wait a minute. Why would explosives be blue? Oh, good. So now the, the, the higher level enemies can be in this. Okay. A lot of weird ass design decisions. Why would you do these things? Why, why make it so, so difficult? I don't know. I'm just posing questions to myself. That's what I do. <laughs> mm. Like, the, like, the numbers there... I feel like the numbers there don't necessarily mean a lot, and it's hard to tell whether or not, um, like, if how much of an impact they're making other than speed. Speed, it's immediate, like, oh, that's, you know, that's doing that. Oh, good, I can level up if I really want to. Ow. Okay, woo. Now, like, on, the, on this sparkle cloud thing, I could definitely feel the, the effects of the melee damage, or the range damage, because it goes plus seven. Oh, look. I'll take the potion. Um, I'm out of ammo, so I'm going to take that. Blue, pie, blue barrels house of the terror pixies. <laughs> I mean, look, sometimes I, I, I'm an old man. I'm, I, I'm, I'm in my thirties. Sometimes these things just, they, 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 you forget. Ooh, orb. Orb. Okay, enough of the orb. <laughs> See, 
Now, like, there, there, there's, a, there's a transparent effect on this one, but for some reason, that one's not one hit. So there's inconsistent rules within its own universe, which is not... Cool. Ooh, crossbow. Okay, green door is unlocked, so... I'm assuming that's going to take me to the boss. Also, does is it just me or does that sound like a like a protagonist um scream? Like it's not you expect like like a black knight to be a lot deeper of a voice. I'm going to use this ammo a little bit more. Oh, spells. Uh-oh. Oh, I could be frozen. Oh. Well. It's pulling out some tricks at the end. I'm not sure if they're good tricks, but they're tricks. Um, how do I take that shield down? We just have to shoot at it. Woo, I leveled up. I want my crossbow back, please. Oh, leveling up gives me my full health back. That's good. Also, 100 health, apparently you could just go over it. Hmm. I'm going to go find a ranged weapon. Hope that I can find a ranged weapon. Because he looks like he, 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 he may be somebody to stay away from. Gem. Oh, I should break this. There may be stuff in these things. Can I destroy the chair? I cannot destroy the chair. Uh, in there. Oh, no. Wow, he, he, he took a real big beating. Um, any we any ranged weapon will do. A any oh wait, hold on. There may be one in here. Because we all know that potted plants are the most common places to find weapons. <laughs> Just don't. Okay, so it is not cool to be frozen that close because then he's right on top of you. That Oh, man. Okay. Game design-wise, a lot of problems. A lot, a lot of problems. Um, I feel like there is a base design issue with the way that they implemented the RPG elements and the um, FPS portion. The FPS portion, once you're able to change the sensitivity, which, by the way, I'm pointing out here again, sensitivity is not in this section. This is the first place that I would expect it to be. Um, yeah, it, it, it has some issues. Um, once you get that under control in terms of the sensitivity, it does feel like a reasonable like control scheme. The gameplay is just completely, completely straightforward. Enemy placement gets repetitive. You get overwhelmed by enemies, but there's like, you don't feel like you're getting overwhelmed. You just feel like the game's not really helping you. It doesn't have like, you know, situational sound. Um, the design of enemies specifically, like that, that, that night, 
getting frozen with him being the same speed as you, not giving you a chance to escape enough because of the fact that the distance between that freeze shot and you is that close, that's not going to work. That's going to be a problem if you get hit once and then he is able to get to you. And the fact that he's the same speed as you, he's probably going to get to you eventually because you're he uh, just because of pathfinding. So there's just a lot of game design decisions that I question here. Um, I will have to say that right now, Tenenbrose Dungeon, despite it being, let me, let me see if it's $7.99. Oh, it's $4.79. So it is, it's usually six bucks. Um, and there's already two positive reviews. I'm okay. Regardless, it's not my cup of tea. And I don't think it's, there's just way too many other FPSs like this that can do the job as well as Ten and Burst Dungeons did. Um, Project Warlock is one that I can think of. Um, there was a old, I'll have to think of the other one. I think it was not um, Unsettled, but something with an un. So, and, and the music is just, look, if you're gonna have an FPS where you're gonna have basic sounds and not have sounds of like shots from the enemies, having a loop audio is going to drive the person insane very very insane overall i i will have to say it's a pass um i will concede that you know it again for under five bucks as a first game it's not bad but and there's there's hope signs of hope with the technical elements of it but it just needs a bit more game design it needs a bit more oomph to it again like i always say if you don't have something that will punch people in the face to say, hey, pay attention to me, yeah, people are not going to buy your game. And especially in, in this indie market. Anyway, that's it for now. I will stream um, Ape Out next. It'll probably be on Saturday. But um, And the story games list is coming along. So I will see you all later.